the rhythm of the day on the canoe trip really varies uh, day to day depending on the environment, depending on what our goals are for the day. Making the coffee is sort of like step number one always. Using the, the pots often to do like a cowboy style coffee. The guys make breakfast. We like to, to make the, the morning as easy as possible for, for everyone to get going. Once breakfast is done, we clean everything up. We get ready for the river. There's always lots of questions about how far are we paddling, you know, where are we camping tonight? Uh, are there any rapids today? So there's always a bit of a teaching component in the morning and then it's just getting on the water. Paddle, stop for gorp. Paddle again, stop for lunch. Paddle, stop for gorp. Once we get to campsite, we unload the boats, we set up the tarp, we set up the chairs, making sure that we make it as much of a home as it can be for the couple of hours we're there. Obviously, one of our tradition is to have happy hour before dinner. It's where everyone has to be there for happy hour. It's the one rule at Canoe North, you can't miss happy hour. Fishing, hiking in the afternoon, anything we can uh, we can get to squeeze in there, we, we try to do. All of our days are a little organic and um, based on what happens throughout the day, we have a longer paddle day or a shorter paddle day. We, you know, if we stop and we're having this magical moment, we're just gonna stop and take it in. That's really what these trips are about. I mean, this, this company was really founded on bringing in the magic of the North, bringing in the magic of people together and community spirit. So we really try to play in on absorbing the moment, stopping, pausing, taking it all in, um, recognizing where we are and who we're with and really celebrating that sort of throughout the day.